Top of the morning family, you see we still here. I'm glad that you tune in to today. Uh, Bible survey, it's been going terrific. It's been going great, man. We've been getting a lot of reviews, excellent reviews, a lot of likes, a lot of uh, enjoyable comments. I've just uh, got my, my, my coffee at the top of the morning. And, you know, I just want to open up, just want to open up, and I want to feel good about what God is doing. And God promised you that he will keep you. God promised you that he will cover you. You know I miss you. Hello, Sister Ross. You know I miss you. Hey, Karen, I miss you. Val, I miss you. And, you know, Brother Wallace, I see, I see you, D. And I'm just excited about what, Brother, Brother, all right, I see you, Brother, Brother President, Brother Mike and me. I see you all. I'm just excited about what God is doing. God is doing great things in this world. And COVID-19 is coming down. The curve is coming down, okay? You all still distance yourself from each other. Give them people their six feet, their ten feet, okay? Continue to wear your mask. Continue to wear your gloves. Continue to wash your hands uh, for uh, 20 seconds, all right? Because you want to stay healthy. You want to stay healthy. We know God is over the, this COVID. We know that God is over this disease. We know that God is over this virus. We know that God is over that. But we don't want to tempt God, okay? We don't want to tempt people, all right? All right? And so... I'm glad about that, that God is covering us in his love, okay? We're going to read Psalm 85. Psalm 85, man, it, it's going to bring laughter to your spirit. Psalm 85 is going to, when I look at it, it's going to bring hopefulness. It, 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 Psalm 85 is going to bring rejoicing to your life, okay? It, it's going to bring uh, good humor to you. Psalm 85 is nice. Uh, just, just peruse over it. You're going to enjoy it. Take your time. Don't read through it so fast. Take your time and read Psalms 85. And then if you have a, another chance, uh, take your time and read it again. Okay, read it again. It's going to be helpful to you. That's why we have this Bible survey every day so that you can connect with the Word of God every day. God can speak to your spirit every day. God can help you for whatever you're going through every day. He can bring that comfort into you. He can bring that confidence to you, okay? God promised never to leave us, okay? It's a peace that God give us, not as the world give uh, unto us, okay? But God give us. And once you read Psalm 35, it's going to just settle you down. 85, I'm sorry, Psalm 85. It's going to settle you down, and it's going to bring a bunch of laughter to you. And then tonight, what we're going to do, we're going to do Luke 7 and 8, okay? Tonight, uh, Luke chapter 7 and 8, all right? You need to get that. You need to have that. Luke 7 and 8 is going to bring you into the, the, the fullness of Christ. You're not going to be there yet, but it's, it's marching you into Christ and, and what he's like. And Dr. Luke is really telling you a story because, remember, he was a physician, okay? And so he's really giving you a story of how the doctors operate, all right? And so um, Luke 7 and 8 is really going to be helpful to you, all right? If you want to, you can uh, uh, read that chapter 7 and chapter 8, and then you can go over it uh, before you go to bed. It's really going to be helpful to you. Please invite, okay? Please have people to subscribe uh, to my YouTube channel um, uh, and like, okay? And, 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 and really uh, tell them that Bishop M.L. Hall, that's the channel, Bishop M.L. Hall, you would really love it. I'm really enjoying this Bible survey, man. It's just, it's just terrific. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ah, it's really terrific, okay? Once you get into the Word of God, the Word of God has been reading a little book here. Once you get into the Word of God, the Word of God will help you, okay? And then I'm talking about Matthews, okay? I mean, I'm talking about Luke, okay? Luke 7 and 8 is really going to bless your spirit as we move into Luke 7 and 8. Let me see if I can find that real fast, all right? Luke 7 and 8, all right? Here it is. Uh, Luke 7 basically is, is really giving you some, some information uh, concerning judging others and loving your enemy and, and, and talking about the uh, bearing fruit. That's what Luke 7 is talking about. This is going to really help you help you out, okay? And then Luke 8 is also talking about the parable of the sword, okay? How you sow seeds, okay? And he's talking about the, uh, the, the, the reason for, for, for the parable. So 7 and 8 is really going to bless you. Luke 7 and 8 really going to bless you, okay? We're going we're gonna to keep up, okay? Keep up with me, all right? And I hope to see you tomorrow. I love you. Pray for me as I pray for you, okay? 
Let's remain safe and prayerful. Love you as we read the word of God. Talk to you tomorrow.